Hello, and welcome to Barnesville Junior Arts Center's online piano series. My name is Vera Lugo, and I'm a piano instructor at the center. This will be the second video in our series, so if you didn't see the first one, go ahead and go back and watch that. It's on our YouTube channel. In the second video, I'm going to introduce you to the proper way to sit at the piano and how to hold your hand. Now, when you sit at the piano, you're going to want to be as relaxed as possible. But like with most things that we do, relax doesn't mean lazy. Musicians are also athletes. We use our bodies to create our art, and how we use them can affect our sound. So here's the right way to sit. You should be sitting slightly forward on your bench or seat. It's easier to do if you're sitting on a flat seat. Your shoulders should be relaxed, but not too far forward. You don't want to be this relaxed, like you're just sitting around watching TV or looking at your phone, right? But you should have an upright posture like this. Your neck should feel long with your head straight on your shoulders. Your feet should be on the ground in front of you, not underneath. They shouldn't be back like this. They should be forward. That's so that you have the most balance and strength possible. But let me tell you a secret. There's a special way to place your hands that will make playing easier. To play the best, your elbow should be slightly higher than the level of the keys or the keyboard and your arm should be straight from the crook of your arm to the top of your hand. Your elbows should be bent slightly out. They shouldn't be in touching your wrists like this. They shouldn't be out like wings. So it's a nice, neutral, relaxed position. Fingers above keys. You very well might have a hard time reaching the keys depending on their height. If you don't have an adjustable seat, try adding some books to get your arms to the right height. If it's not exact, that's okay too. Just do your best. Then, your fingers curve down to meet the keys, except for your thumbs. Your thumbs will stay kind of straight there. When we play, we should be using our fingertips to press the keys. It's not flat fingers like this, and it's not the front of our fingers like this. It's the fingertips. Let's start with our hand in the middle of the keyboard. Here's this note we talked about in the last video, middle C. It's the C, the note that's down and to the left of the two black keys here, your two black keys, down and to the left, that C. So we're gonna start on this C, right here. Let's check in with our posture again. Is everything loose and at the right angle? Great. Now try moving your hands up and down the keyboard. Slides hand. Now I'm gonna play one of my favorite songs for you. I'm gonna play it with correct posture and hand position. We can see Vera's hands on the keyboard as she plays. She sits up straight, but also moves a little bit with the music, swaying forward and back. Logo, Barnstall Junior Arts Center, Department of Cultural Affairs. In our next lesson, we're going to talk about knowing which note is which, which key is which, and also which fingers to use. If you practice the proper piano posture and hand placement that we've talked about today, the next part should be much easier. Enjoy your practice time, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!